outside of the left eye of Manny Pacquiao. Earlier in the fight, he had bruising underneath his right eye. On we go to the fifth round. This one is scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao has been away from the ring for 25 months. Pacquiao, total punches landed. 53 of 248 for a 21% connect percentage. Ugas, 54 of 131 with a 41% connect percentage. Pacquiao is throwing considerably more, which is no surprise, but Ugas has been the far more accurate of the two. Pacquiao doesn't seem to have the spring that he has had in the past, but he is still so dangerous. There's a straight left. But Pacquiao's work rate could be a significant something to watch because if you're the judge, what do you favor? Do you favor the the volume of punching of Pacquiao, or do you favor the clean, effective counter-punching of your Dennis Ugas, along with the fundamentals of him using his jab more than that of Pacquiao? And no doubt, Manny Pacquiao will let his hands go. But there's a right hand connecting for Ugas. Midway portion of the fifth. Tense moments here in Las Vegas. This crowd came out to... There's a right hand for Ugas. A very one-sided crowd, all in favor of Manny Pacquiao for the most part. And clash of heads, potentially. Thankfully, no blood. They touch gloves under a minute to go here in the fifth. Double jab for Pacquiao, partially blocked by Ugas. At this pace, this favors your Dennis Ugas because it is calculated and methodical. This is not the kind of fight that Manny Pacquiao, who likes to engage in firefights, this tempo and pace favors Ugas more than anything. Because it's very strategic and deliberate. There's a right-hand counter for Ugas. But Ugas, being the naturally bigger man, there's Pacquiao pounds away on the right glove of Ugas. Pacquiao unloading. Uga smiles at him as, and then he shook his head as to say, nope, nothing got through. There's a couple counter right hands by Ugas. Another counter right hand, but back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao tr trying to end with a flurry, and that ends the fifth. Much to the delight of this partisan Pacquiao crowd. Now, bingo. He's looking for a big shot to try to affect your Dennis Ugas. Now Pacquiao has a tight guard. He's trying to invite Ugas to him. So I think Pacquiao, he's like, instead of me attacking this guy, let me invite this guy to me and see if I can counter. So the strategies change 
here in the fight as you're seeing Pacquiao who's almost inviting Ugas to come forward. And now chance a let's go Manny here at T-Mobile Arena. High level excitement between two elite welterweights. There's a big right hand by Ugas and you heard that. Ugas got all of that, all a lot of leverage behind that shot. Under a minute to go here in the sixth. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas looks razor sharp tonight. Double jab for Ugas. Ugas was a sizable underdog coming into this fight. Manny Pacquiao was over a three to one favorite. But Ugas didn't pay attention to the odds, said it doesn't matter. None of that affects me. I know what I'm capable of. Couple of lefts by Pacquiao. Final moments of the sixth. Ugas coming forward. He tags Pacquiao with the counter right hand. And Pacquiao trying to lunge in and get something, and that ends the sixth. We are halfway home. Some nervous fans issued 4-12. I think we have a close fight between Manny Pacquiao, your Dennis Ugas total punches landed, thrown through six. Identical when it comes to landed, but Pacquiao has thrown nearly 200 punches more than that of Ugas. Power punches thrown through the sixth round. Pacquiao 50 of 183 for a 27% connect percentage. Ugas 39 of 63 for a 62% connect percentage. But Pacquiao is nearly tripling his power punch output when it comes to how much he is throwing. Judges, it all depends on what a judge favors. Do you favor the aggression or do you feel the tactical counterpunching selective mindset of your Dennis Ugas. Pacquiao stepping forward, throws a combination, but back comes Ugas. What a sensational fight. Pacquiao steps in with a left. Couple lefts that didn't find their mark for Pacquiao as we are coming up on 90 seconds to go here in the seventh. There's a right to the body followed by a right upstairs. Uga's doing exactly what Ismail Salas told him. He goes, attack the body and then come upstairs. He did exactly that in that sequence. 70 seconds remaining here in round seven. Uga's Advancing forward, but Pacquiao flicking out that jab. He darts in, throws a left, and then gets out of the way. Double jab followed by the right, but Pacquiao blocked most of those shots. Pacquiao is planting his feet more instead of bouncing around as much. He is sitting down in his shots more against the naturally bigger men. I think he realizes he has to do that because of the fact that him bouncing in and out and not getting full leverage behind his shots is not going to hurt this guy because of how big he is. There is a massive size difference between these two. If you're Pacquiao, keep the fight in the center of the ring and use it to your advantage. If you're Ugas... I think Ugas is going to have to start to throw a little bit more because Pacquiao, with his volume and work rate, appears to be outworking him. And they end and fight at the bell.